Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus, November 4, 2021. Talking through problems can be helpful and satisfying today. Two heads are better than one today, particularly regarding research, work, or health matters. You might instead team up to handle a financial problem. However, aim to do what you can to relax and reflect with today's balsamic moon it's better to let go and loosen up than wind yourself up. You can have some great thinking or communicating sessions now, but the picture is incomplete, and you should resist any pressure to put everything together. Allowing the pieces to unfold naturally will work more in your favor. Communication can help center you and relieve your mind about some of your troubles or concerns, especially related to health and work. Tomorrow's new moon can encourage fundamental changes in your relationships and the possibility of new beginnings. You're likely to be pulled in a new direction or towards a new, enlightened perspective in the coming days. Today, slow down, reminisce, and reflect, today provides a brief break in astrology as there are no major transits or aspects. The moon is in peace-seeking Libra, which is illuminating your sector of work and routine. The lunar energy is perfect for bringing back balance to your professional and personal life. You may feel emotionally balanced, especially if your mind was racing with possibilities throughout the last few days. Now is the time to gather your thoughts to reflect. Consider today as a small but necessary mental break to get all of your ducks in a row at work. In her last full day in your financial sector, as has been the case during every other day in her four week visit, Venus is focused on the what rather than the when, where, and how. Venus has this luxury because there are planets following over the coming weeks that can turn her financial desires and expectations into reality. It might feel like blind faith but as the planet of money, Venus can see what is around the corner, you sometimes deal with emotional turmoil by keeping it very much under wraps and not really letting others see what you are feeling. It's like you are afraid things will only get worse if you let other people know how you really are right now. This approach stems from your survival instinct and can sometimes cause you unnecessary suffering. To circumvent this tendency, go for a workout when you are feeling blue. If you still feel blue afterwards, go ahead and spill your guts to a friend. Knowing that a parade of planets will pass through your financial sector over the next two months, including Mars making his first visit in nearly two years, allows Venus' last full day to be more about the what than the when where and how. In the meantime, the moon is making this an important day on both the job the relationship fronts, just as the focus is shifting from one to the other. The moon will start the day helping Mercury tie up loose ends on the job front before returning to focus on new beginnings on the relationship front. The moon not only returns to your relationship sector today but to begin the lead up to a new moon that will create an opportunity for a fresh start. This will ensure you are emotionally engaged during Mars' early days in your relationship sector as Mercury, the planet of communication approaches. This is the start of a pivotal few days on the relationship front. With the moon hovering over your responsible sixth house of wellness, daily rituals, and due diligence, you're likely preoccupied with emotional themes surrounding your state of mind and day-to-day -day lifestyle. Although, when considering Luna's proximity to savvy Mercury in this area of your chart, you could simultaneously be in the process of sorting out your priorities when it comes to your love life. This is especially true with your luscious planetary ruler, Venus, igniting your intimate eighth house of sex, shared resources, and soulmate connections. So, whether you're currently single or already romantically committed, chances are that you're ready to put in the work. 